Welcome everyone. Today we're doing a Pilates mat workout, no equipment necessary. So this is something that you can do in your home or in your studio if you're working out at your studio or wherever you've got just a little bit of space. So the design for this class is to begin standing, then do some kneeling work, then work our way down onto the mat. We're gonna be pulling exercises that you would typically do on other apparatus as well. So you'll see some things that we would do on the reformer for sure, a couple things that we might do on the chair uh, and then of course our more traditional Pilates mat exercises. So guys, let's get started standing and I'm gonna begin with my feet just about hip distance apart and my legs parallel. That means my knees and toes are pointing forward, my shoulders are open, standing at my full height, I'm gonna take a deep breath in through the nose and then as I exhale, I'm gonna blow out like I'm blowing through a straw. That is gonna help us get those deep core muscles firing. So inhale deeply through the nose, and then exhale through purse lips. Now, we're gonna add a squat to this. So, you're gonna inhale as you come down. Let's hang out here for a second. You want a long spine here, knees tracking over the center of the feet, not caving in, and then press through the whole foot to come up. Come on down, breathe in, and then exhale, come up. So you're flexing the knees and the hips to come down. Your knees will start to go forward a little bit. Your hips will definitely travel back because you're keeping your weight centered on your foot, not all in the heel, not all in the ball of the foot. So come on down and press up. And again, sink and press. Let's do that a few more times, just getting yourself warmed up. So think of this like footwork on the reformer. Inhale down, exhale up. And last one, and come up. Now we're just gonna change to our second position. So your legs are gonna be turned out, and again, knees and toes tracking in the same direction, and then come down, and when you come down this time, think of sinking your hips more straight to the floor. That You can hinge forward a little bit with the upper body, but it's not like what we were doing before. And the knees will still track over the center of the feet. And then come on back up, and come down, and press up. Inhale down, exhale up. Sink, and come up. Now as you begin to warm up, you can take this a little bit deeper and you can go as deep as you can without having that tailbone curl under. You wanna think of sit bones going backward and then drawing back up. Down and exhale up. And let's do five more and up and three. And I can't count. <laughs> now we have two more <laughs> and one more and come all the way up. All right, bring your legs back to parallel and we're gonna go into a lunge. So think of this like single leg footwork or uh, step ups on the chair. So I'm gonna come back into this lunge and it's almost our front split position, right, on the reformer and then you're gonna come back up. So let's do that again. Travel back and come back up. Inhale as you go back. Exhale to come up. Now you can begin to take that back knee a little lower toward the mat. Sinking down and coming back up. And again, same side, down and up and down and up. Now we're gonna add a little balance challenge to it. So we're gonna come down and then we're gonna lift our knee and balance. Inhale back, exhale up and balance. And again, come back and up and balance, and sink, and rise up, two more. Back, and forward, and one more. Give me that exhale, and up to the top. All right, that leg should be toast. Let's go on to the other side, and we're gonna just lunge back, and come back up. Now focus on that front knee, make sure it's tracking over the center of the foot, and as you warm up, start taking that back knee, Lower to the mat, down, and come back up. Inhale back, exhale to come up. Inhale back, exhale forward. Let's add the knee lift. So sink, draw in from the center to pull up, and back, and find your balance. Sink down, pull it up, and again, back, and lift. Two more here. Inhale back, exhale up, one more. And 
lower down. All right, now we're gonna move sideways. So we're gonna go into a side lunge. We're gonna stay on the same side. So take your foot out, you're gonna turn it out a little bit and knee will track over that foot and you're gonna sink your hips down. This leg stays straight, push back, bring your legs together. Inhale down, exhale up. Come down and up. So get that rotation in the hip and come up and again, down and up. Now let's add the knee lift. So down, knee lift and balance. And again, sink, come up and balance. Inhale, exhale up and down and balance one more time. Inhale, exhale, balance, and down. Now let's do that going the other way. So turn your leg out, bend your knee right over the center of the foot, and come in. Remember, the leg that you're leaving behind stays straight, and come back up. Lunge, and return. Inhale down, and exhale up. Now we're gonna add our knee lift. So down, and add the knee lift and balance. And again, turn that leg out. Now turn it to parallel and balance. And sink, and lift. Last two, sink, and lift. Last one, sink, and lift. And lower it down. Okay, now we're gonna move on to some upper body stuff. So I'm gonna begin with a roll down, so a little spine movement. Start tall, feet about hip distance apart, breathe in, and then exhale, flex through the spine and roll down, reaching toward the floor, letting your head dangle between your arms. Then roll up all the way to the top, shoulders open at the top, head comes all the way up. Breathe in. Now exhale, flex forward, rolling down through. Breathe in, and exhale, come back up. Now guys, as you're rolling down, start from the top. So head goes first, then your shoulders, upper, mid, lower back, and roll down. Now make sure you're not locking your knees out here. Keep them straight, but not locked. And then as you roll up, it's from bottom to top. One more time, letting that posterior side stretch. Coming down through, and then draw the abs in, and come back up. Now, from here, we're gonna go into our breaststroke. So, reach up, and as you reach up, we can reach straight up, or if you can, move your arms back and your upper back back a little bit so you get a little bit of upper body extension. Imagine you're on the mat and you wanna hover above the mat. Then you're gonna reach the arms out as wide as you can, lifting your sternum up even more and reaching your arms back behind you, and then come back to that start position and inhale to pull back like you're pulling yourself through water to come for breath and exhale, come back to the start position. And again, inhale back, open up. Don't let your head crank back, just lift it slightly and come up. And again, breathe in, reaching those arms, reach them, reach them, reach them, shoulder blades coming toward each other and then exhale, come through one more. Reach back, open, 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 and then just relax down to your sides. Now with your feet in the same position, we're gonna give a little bend in the knees here and a slight flexion of the hip, just a little bit, just a little sink down. Arms reaching out to the side and we're gonna turn to one side, arms out, rotate three, release go a little further, two and one and back to center. Now the goal is to keep the hips forward and rotate the ribs. So look back at your hand and center and make sure that the arms always stay where the hands are in the peripheral vision, one, and two, and three, and come back. Think of turning your pelvis the opposite that you're turning your ribs, and you'll feel your obliques kick in here. And back to center, and again, good rotation, getting good mobility here and some oblique work. And center, and again, rotate a little further, a little further, come back to center. One more on each side. Breathe in as you turn, and two, and three, back to center, other side, one and two, and three, back to center, and just turn the palms to face front, separate your feet a little wider, and we're gonna go into our standing saw. 
So rotate toward one side, inhale. Now exhale, flex over that leg, reaching the back fingertips toward the ceiling. And then come back up facing that same direction and then come back to center. Inhale as you turn. Exhale as you flex over that leg and reach the fingertips away from each other. Inhale, come back up facing that direction still. Exhale back to the center. Inhale and exhale over. Stay in that direction as you come up and then return back to the center. Breathe in and exhale over, reach. Come back up and come back to center. Let's do it again. Rotate and reach. Come up and center. It's a really nice way to start to get your body warmed up, especially your hamstrings and your back. Come up and back to center. All right, guys, now we're gonna move down onto the mat and we're gonna come down onto our knees. So you can have the tops of your feet toward the mat or you can tuck your toes under, it's up to you. And from here, we're gonna begin with just a squat. So I'm gonna hinge back and put my seat toward my feet and then come back up. Notice my upper body hinges forward. And as I do that, I'm just gonna push the arms forward and pull them back in. Inhale, and then exhale to come back up. Inhale, hinge back, exhale to come up. And again, hinge back and come up two more times. Squat and come up and one more time, squat. Now we're gonna take the hip movement out of it and just hinge from the knees. So hinge back from the knees and come up. Again, it's an inhale back and an exhale up. Inhale back and exhale up. And we've got three more. Back, keep the hips open, keep the abs engaged. And two, one more time. And three. Now we're gonna alternate those. So do that chest press and a squat and come up. Now do a chest fly and a hinge and come up back to the chest press and squat and up now out to the hinge and forward. Inhale and exhale up. Inhale and exhale forward. Sink and lift. Lean back and in. One more. Sit and up. Lean back and forward. Now, just hinge at the hip. Lift your chest up. Remember the breaststroke position we had when we were standing, when we extended? That's what I want you to find. Then bring your arms up as far up, lining up with your head as you can. If they need to be a little bit down, do that if you're kind of going up into the shoulders like that. Then alternate swimming arms in this hinged kneeling position. Breathe in for five counts. And exhale for five counts. Again, breathe in for five counts. And exhale for five counts. Two more, breathe in. And exhale. And one more time, inhale. Hold that body from rotating and exhale. And hold and lower down. Now let's go into a quad here, meaning hands and knees on the floor. And I want you to grab the floor with the whole hand. Press into your fingertips and that's gonna help you not put as much work into the heel of the hand, meaning less stress in the wrist and the elbows. Lengthen from head to tail, breathe in, and then we're gonna do our cat. So you're gonna start from the tail, you're gonna curl the tail under, pulling the abs in, flexing the back, and spreading the shoulder blades apart and letting your head drop. Then lengthen from the tail and articulate all the way back into that long line. Breathe in. Exhale, flex, and come into that C-curve. Breathe in, and lengthen from tail to head. Breathe in, and exhale, flex. Drawing the abdominals in and curling the tailbone under, and then lengthen, let the shoulder blades come back one more time. Flex all the way up into it, and then lengthen out. Now from here, we're gonna do what's called a bird dog. So what I'm gonna do is reach one arm and the opposite leg forward. So get your balance here, engage your abs, and then reach everything out. And then just lower it down. We're gonna do that same side. Reach out, exhale, and come back in. Let's use an inhale there, guys. Inhale to reach out. 
and exhale down. And again, reach and exhale down. Hold that balance. Remember, don't lock that elbow on the support side. Now hold this one out here. You're gonna bend your knee and you're gonna bring the knee and the forearm together underneath you, flexing the spine and then reach to a straight line. Do that again, tuck and lengthen out. And again, tuck, use your glutes here, lift that leg. And again, in, and you can extend the upper back a little bit more and pull, lift that arm and your head a little bit more. And exhale, inhale, reach, one more. Exhale, inhale, reach and lower the hand down. All right, starting on the other side, which is the bird dog. So you're gonna reach the other arm and the opposite leg forward, reach it out, and exhale, lower. And again, reach, and come back down. Let's do this again. So reach away, and come down, and reach, inhaling, and down. Now on this one, we're gonna hold it, and then you're gonna exhale, tuck, bring the forearm to the knee, and then inhale, reach everything up. Exhale, pull it in, inhale, reach up. And again, pull in and reach away. And pull it in and reach one more time. Exhale, inhale, reach and lower down. Okay guys, from there, we're gonna take one leg out and hold it steady. Get your, gonna shift over onto that other leg a little bit, that's okay, but get your hips as square as you can. And then from here, Hold onto this position. You're gonna bend your knee with your toes pointed, then release, bend the knee again with the heel flexed, and reach away. So it's our one leg kick, but we're doing it kneeling. So one, two, reach away, and again. Pull, two, reach away. Point, flex, reach away. Now if you're not getting the foot and ankle action, that's okay. Just keep the foot relaxed and do two pulses, and then slowly reach away. But keep that leg lifted. Point, flex, reach away. And again, point, flex, reach away. We exhale as we point, flex, reach away. One more time, point, flex, reach away. Feel that in the hamstrings and the glutes? Lower that leg back down, and the abs, I hope. Reach the other leg out, and let's do it on this side. Square off here. Point, flex, slowly reach it away. And again, inhale, inhale, reach it away. Point, flex, reach away. Keep the knee lifted, point, flex, reach it away, and again, point, flex, reach away. Look down, not up. Two more sets, reach it away, and one more set, point, flex, reach it away. Now, from here, we're gonna take the first leg up again, that, that same leg, and we're gonna go into just pushing the heel to the ceiling and then bringing the knee in, but I want you to keep your back as neutral as possible. So we're hinging at that hip joint, tucking in, and then reaching away, but you're not tucking the spine, you're keeping the spine long. Exhale, heel to the ceiling, inhale in. Heel to the ceiling, inhale in. And we've got five, and bring it in. And four, and bring it in. Square the hips off, three, and two, and one, and bring that down. Other side, flex your foot, heel to the ceiling, draw the knee under, and reach, and under, and reach, and under and exhale, and in, and we've got five, and pull it in, and four, and in, and three, and two, and one, and down. Now from here, tuck your toes under, and just lift your knees just up off the mat a little bit here. Then take one leg out, stretch it out. Now you're gonna bring nose to knees, so tuck and bring the knee under, and stretch it out, and two, Stretch it out. Three, flex the spine and then extend it. And four, and out. Five, one more. Six. Now put your foot down, square off, lift the other leg up, and let's go. Pull it in, one. Inhale away, exhale, two. And reach, and three. Reach it away, four. And out, five. We got one more, pull it in, and reach. Put your foot down, and gently. <laughs> Bring those knees down, Woo! All right, so from here, now we're gonna go prone. So we're gonna come down onto the mat, and for right now, stack your hands, and you're gonna rest your forehead on your hands. From here, you're gonna lift your legs off the mat, so they're hovering. Try to get the thighs up, so the knees are long, abs are in 
t engaged, so tight. And then you're gonna alternate one leg and then the other, breathing in and exhaling. And again, inhale for five counts and exhale for five counts. The legs can be turned out a little bit. The abs are really firing and breathe in for five counts and exhale for five counts. And one more set, breathing in and exhaling. Now hold and lower down. Now bend your knees and your knees will be about hip distance apart and put your heels together. And from here, breathe in. And then on your exhale, you're gonna squeeze the heels together and you're gonna lift your thighs. As you do that, think of gently putting the pubic bone and the hip bones into the mat and lower down. Again, head resting on your hands. Exhale, lift the heels as you squeeze them and lower down. And we've got five more. And down, and squeeze and lift. Four, and lower down, and three. Exhale up, and down. Good, keep the abs engaged, feel those glutes working. And we've got one more here, lift and lower. Now stretch the legs out, stretch the arms out. Come into this hover position and full swimming here. Breathe in for five, lift your chest a little bit and exhale for five. Keep the knees long if you can and breathe in and exhale. And again, breathe in five counts and exhale five counts. Keep those knees stretched and one more, breathe in and exhale. Now hold everything and release down. Guys, just push back into this nice shell and come over onto your back and we're gonna go into our hundreds start position. So you're coming down onto your back. From here, you can either tip your pelvis back so your lower back is in what we call the imprint position, meaning it's close or on the mat or you can keep the pelvis level, hip bones and pubic bone level, and you'll have a little space in your lower back. It depends on what, how strong your abs are. If you start to feel in the lower back, always tip back. So let's bring our legs up into this tabletop position for now. And what I want you to do is hover your upper body up. It's called the hundreds start position. So your elbows will be soft, shoulders slightly forward, looking down, eye level, and we're gonna stretch out the legs. So exhale, reach them away and inhale, bring them in. And again, exhale away. Inhale to come back in. And we've got just three more, and it moves slowly. The legs constantly move, but they move slowly. Two more, and come back in. And one more, hold them straight. Now as you inhale, lift them up, and as you exhale, lower them down. And inhale, lift, keep the upper body really relaxed and work through the abs here, and lift and lower and lift and we're going to make this into circles so bring them up together open them and circle them around for one bring them up together open them and bring them around for two bring them up together and around for three put your hands behind your head if you're starting to feel too much in the neck now we reverse it so open them out and bring them up and exhale down one open them out and bring them up two and one more time around and up three now bend your knees put your feet on the floor and lower your upper body down from here stretch out your legs reach your arms up over your head for roll up now you can assist by reaching for your legs as you come up so lead with the arms and then roll right up over the legs flexing over at the top reaching your hands past your toes but pulling your abs in then begin to roll back down and release. Now, if you need it, as you begin to come up, just reach for your legs and use your legs to assist you at the sticking point and then come back down. And your knees can be bent to do that as well. So you can start here and come up, reach for the legs and then lengthen them if you wanna keep them bent and roll back and then release the arms up and back. Don't lift your rib cage at the bottom, keep it down. Breathe in the arms, lift. Exhale, flex right up over the legs. Then you're gonna roll back down here and release down. Now on this one, we're gonna stay up, over, and we're gonna rise up onto the sit bones with the arms out to the side, and we're gonna do our spine twist. So you can bring your legs all the way together or keep them separated. Whatever is most comfortable, you can even bend your knees a little bit and sit up on top of something if you're having a hard time sitting tall. 
Then rotate three times, two times, one time with three little pulses and then back to the center. And you inhale, two, three. Exhale to center. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale to center. And again, lift. Don't swing the arms. You want to turn the ribs here. The arms just go with you. And you're looking back at your back fingertips. Two, three, and back to center. And again, uh, one. And further two, further three. One more on each side. One, two, three, and the other side for three and two and one. And back to center and we're gonna roll down onto our back. Bring your heels close to your seat and let's work on lifting up the hips. So exhale, press the hips up, keeping that little posterior tilt and then lower back down. And again, exhale, push into the heels to lift and lower back down. So as you're coming up, you wanna think of reaching the knees away from you guys and opening up the front of your hip and then lowering down. You should feel a lot in the glutes when you do that. Lift and lower down. And let's do two more here. Lift and lower and one more. Lifting up and then lower. Now we're gonna do what I call giant steps. So you're gonna lift your hips and one foot at the same time. So lift them off the mat, bring that leg into tabletop, lower back down, put your foot down. Press into that side, lift up the other foot and everything lowers down together. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Keep alternating for six and lower down. And five and lower down. Keep reaching the arms along the mat. Four and down. Three. Use that exhale as you lift up. And two and one. Now just come up on the other side one more time and hold it. And from here, we're gonna take that leg to the ceiling and you're gonna draw a circle on the ceiling with that leg. One, and around two, keep the hips lifted, and three. Now let's go the other way, circling around for one, and two, and three. And bend your knee, put the foot down. Let's reach the other leg up there now and do the same thing, one, and two. Hold everything steady except that leg. Now go the other way for three, and two, and one, now put that foot down. We're doing another set, reach up and circle. One, inhale and exhale on each one, and three. Now go the other way, and inhale and exhale. One, two, three. Now bend the knee, put the foot down. Let's take the other leg up and do the same thing. One, and two, and three. We got it, other way, and around. One, and two, and three. Now bend the knee, put the foot down, and set your hips down. Okay, from here, guys, you're gonna just reach back, roll up, and take, you're gonna be back off your sit bones, and you're gonna take your legs up and kind of hug your shins in toward you, and back is rounded, rolling like a ball. You're gonna inhale, sink down, exhale, come up and balance. Inhale, sink down, exhale, come up and balance. And again, roll back, come up and find that balance point, and back, and up and balance, and two more. Back, and up and balance, and one more. Rolling back, keep the ball shape, exhale up and balance, and from here right into our ab series. So come down, you're gonna take one leg in, reaching the outside hand for that uh, ankle or shin on the outside, and then switch. And we're gonna go inhaling for two, and exhaling for two. Breathe in, two switches, and exhale, two switches. One more, in for two, and exhale for two. Now we slow it way down, hands behind your head for crisscross, bend that knee in and rotate toward it. Inhale and exhale on each one now, and over, switch, and switch. And we've got five, and switch, and four, and switch over, and exhale, three, and switch, two, and switch, and one, and switch. Now legs together, hands reaching for your shins, the arms and legs reach away on an inhale, and then you exhale, bring it back around to the start. Inhale, reach away, exhale, circle around. Inhale, reach away, exhale, circle around. Three more, reach, 
and circle. And again, keep the upper body lifted, don't look up. And circle, and one more, reach, and around. Now straighten the legs up and scissors. Split the legs and pulse them twice away from each other, and then switch, exhaling for two. Keep the upper body still, don't look up, look down, and just guide that leg and don't yank it in. And one, two, and again, pulse for two. Exhaling, both legs pulse, one pulse is up, one pulse is down, and one, two, and one, two, one more set, and switch, now both up, and release down. Put your feet on the floor next to your seat, and just bridge up, this should feel really good, giving a little break on the hip flexors, while we work the glutes, press up, and lower back down, and again, press, and lower down. Now, we're gonna press up and pulse. One, drop it a little bit and pulse two. Think of the heels and glutes connected and back down. And again, reaching up one and pulse two and pulse three and lower down. One more set. One, two, three and down. Now we go into our shoulder bridge. So you press up, you're gonna reach one leg up you're gonna reach it down, flexing your foot, point the toe as you come up for one. Exhale down, inhale up, two. Reach it away, pull it up, three. And four, and bend the knee, put it down, other side lifts up. And flex it lower down, inhale up, one. Hold onto that glute on that side, two. And exhale, three. And one more, four, bend your knee. And place the hips down. Now, from here, Flex your upper body up like the hundreds, but support your head with your hands this time. Your legs will start tabletop. You're gonna inhale, take them away from you. Exhale, roll back, and come back down. Away, and reverse crunch here. So reach your upper body, stay still. You're just trying to roll the hips back, and away. Exhale, roll it back. Inhale away, pull it back. Three, and draw it in and two, and draw it in, and one. Bring it in, lower down, and let your upper body lower down. Now from here, we're gonna roll up again, and take your legs uh, just about wider than shoulder distance apart. Sit up tall, again you can sit up on top of something if you need to, and arms out to the side for our saw. You're gonna inhale, turn to the side, Exhale, flex over that leg. Come back up, facing that same direction, and back to the center. Inhale to turn. Exhale, turn that back arm as you flex over so your hands could reach away from each other and your palm is aimed toward the ceiling. Come back up and turn back to the front. Rotate, flex over. Come out of the flexion first before you rotate. Back to the center, open, and flex. Up and center. Breathe in, exhale over, up, and back one more time here. Rotate, flex, up, and center, and lower those arms down. Whew. Okay guys, from there, we're gonna scoot forward here a little bit, and we're gonna do our open leg rocker. First, we're gonna grab on just behind the knees here with your legs open, spine lengthen, and you're in a balanced position off your sit bones. So lower back is gonna be slightly flexed. From here, you're gonna increase and round the back, rolling down, come up, rounded, and then lengthen as you're getting right to the top of the movement. So flex and roll down, breathe in. Exhale forward and lengthen. Let's try one more like that. Roll back, flex, roll forward, lengthen. Now, reach for the ankles, and let's do it again. Sink back, roll back. Exhale forward and lengthen. Again, roll back. Forward and lengthen. And again, inhale down. Exhale forward and then up. One more time. Sink down, forward and up. And then bring the legs down. All right guys, from here, we're gonna come down onto our side. And I want you to put your elbow, upper arm down on the mat and put your head on it. And then you're gonna take your other hand and place it on the other side of your head, like so. Now, in this exercise, we're gonna do our side kick, and as we kick back, we're gonna press down into that elbow to lift up your rib cage so you get really good 
uh, oblique work on this side. So take your legs straight and hinge them forward at the hips so that you can see your feet. That'll help you balance here. Then lift the top leg up. You're gonna come forward for two pulses. You reach it back and lift the rib cage up. Come forward, inhaling for two. Give me an exhale as you pull your ribs up and press down on that bottom elbow, pulling it toward you. Inhale forward, exhale, lift and pull back. Again, come forward for two, lift and pull back. And again, forward, lift and come back. Two more, forward for two, exhale back one more time. Come forward, reach it back and bring all Together, upper body down, legs together, and bring them back in line so you're not hinged forward anymore. And then we're just gonna lift that top leg up. So you're gonna lift and flex and pull it down. Point the toe up, exhale down and away. And three, lower it down. And four, keep the breath flowing. and Keep thinking of lengthening that leg. So really reaching into the toes and then reaching into the heels. Now you're gonna bring the top leg forward and the bottom leg is going to be flexing. You're going to lift at five and four, three and two and one. And now from here, you're going to put both legs together and you're going to lift one and two and three, four and five. Now take the top arm and hover it above your uh, leg here, or just rest it on your leg, and bottom palm is facing down. Side bend, lift your legs and flex your upper body up, and one, and flex it sideways, lifting two, and down, and reach those toes away as you flex your upper body toward it, and down. Give me an inhale as you lift, and down, and one more time, reach, and down. Now let's go into the side body twist. We're just gonna do three of them. It starts the same as our side bend. So you inhale, come up. Then you exhale, rotate and reach everything up. Come back to your side and lower back down. Let's do it again. Side bend, first breathing, and then exhale. Slide that back hand toward you as you reach up. And then all the way down. Just one more here. Side bend. And then rotate and reach. And come through and down. All right, you're gonna hug your legs in and then you're gonna take them over to the other side. Hinge your legs forward. Bottom elbow and upper arm is down, head resting on your hand. And take your top hand here too. Now, get that neutral spine going. And give me a little hinge forward at the leg so you can see your feet. Lift the top leg up. Remember, you're gonna bring the foot forward for two pulses. Exhale, bring it back. Pressing down on that bottom elbow to lift your rib cage up and come forward breathing in for two. Now pull up with your abs more than pushing with your elbow. And inhale. And exhale back and lift. And inhale two pulses forward. And exhale back and lift. And again, come forward for two. <coughs> Reach it back. And again, forward for two. Reach it back. And one more time. Forward. Reach it back and come back to the center. <clears throat> okay, from there, stretch your bottom arm out and top hand can just rest on the floor here. You're going to take the top leg, bring the legs back in line, lift the top leg up, and then bring it down. So point the toe as you lift the leg, flex the foot and reach the heel away on the way down. Inhale up, exhale down. Just two more. Lift up and reach down. Just one more. Lift. And lower. Now take that top foot and place it on the floor in front of you with the knee pointing toward the ceiling. Bottom foot will lift for five and four and three. Lift that whole leg up and two and one. Now you're going to take both legs stacked again and you're going to lift just the legs. And exhale, lift two and three. And we've got four and five. Let's add the side bend. So bending and coming up one Woo! and down and side bend and lift two, sliding that bottom arm toward you. X, inhale up three and inhale up, lift those legs and then side bend toward them and one more up and it's side body twist. So side bend first, breathing in and then exhale, reach the legs and the upper body up. Got it. Now come on to your side and lower back down. Let's do it again. Inhale, side bend, exhale, rotate and reach. Woo! And back to the side and lower down. All right, come on, you got it. Side bend first, breathe in. Now exhale, rotate and lift and reach. And then back to the side and lower down. All right, guys, you're just gonna go right onto your front. 
you're gonna stack your hands and we're gonna do our double leg kick but a variation of it where you're not turning your head from side to side and you're not doing anything with your arms. Your forehead and your hands stay together. Your legs start together and straight. You're gonna bend your knees for three, two, one pulse. Then you straighten the legs, you open the legs and lift them and at the same time you lift your upper body. Bring the legs together, exhaling one, two, three as you pulse the legs in. Now inhale, straighten the legs, open them, turn them out as you lift the upper body. Forehead and hands stay together. And again, one, two, three, and open the legs and lift the torso as well. And again, exhaling for three, and inhaling and opening. And exhaling, and inhaling and opening. And one more, exhale for three, and two, and one, and open and down. All right guys, from there just flip over and have a seat and let's stretch out your back. So spine stretch forward, sitting tall, arms are in front, breathe in, then exhale, flex over, drawing the abs in and reaching out over the legs and then coming back up, tall. Breathe in and exhale, flex forward. Keep the pelvis there, just stretch the spine over. So don't try to hinge the pelvis forward. Just stay right on those sit bones, reaching out over the legs. Coming back up, one more time. Exhale forward and inhale up. Now, scoot forward, seat toward your feet and come off of your sit bones a little bit and then come back into that, remember the open leg rocker? It's pretty much the same thing except your legs are together now. And we're gonna do our teaser balance. So you're gonna stretch the legs then you're gonna reach the fingers toward the toes. Now from here, lift the arms, roll down away from the legs. Let's come up, reach the arms, then roll up toward the legs, lift the arms, and exhale, roll down through. Lead with the arms, exhale, roll up. Inhale, lift the arms, exhale, roll down. Again, arms, then roll. Lift and roll down. Last time, arms, then roll up. Lift the arms and roll down. Put your feet down and flip yourself over and we're gonna do our rock and catch swan dive. So your legs are going to be open and turned out here. Take your hands on the outside of the mat and push yourself up into this cobra, but engaged abs, engaged glutes, really connect so you can hold that shape as you release the hands and rock, exhale, inhale, Catch it at the top. Exhale, rock, lift the legs. Inhale, lift the torso and catch. Two more, rock and catch. One more time here, rock and catch. Lower down, push back through a shell. Just give your back a little quick break. Tur curl the toes under and let's push out into our plank. From here, leg pull front, lift one leg, hinge back, point that top foot, come forward, flex the top foot, and then lower it down. Lift the other leg, point away, flex forward and down. Inhale, exhale, don't let your hips start lifting up, keep them down, just the leg lifts. Hinge, forward, grab that whole floor with your hand, lift. Hinge, forward, and one more time, lift, hinge, forward and down, flip over. Have a seat, bend your knees, place your hands behind you with your fingers either pointed out to the sides or back. We're gonna do a reverse plank lift. So your knees are bent, your feet are solid on the ground, shoulders are open, look forward the whole time, lift the hips looking forward and lower back down. And exhale, lift and lower back down. And three more. Exhale up and down. Make sure the shoulders are pulling open as you lift and lower. And just one more time here, guys. Lift and hold it. Now alternate a leg lift for one and down, two and down, three and four and five and six and lower down. Come right over onto your side. Now, we're gonna do just a little side plank squat. 
So what I want you to do is put one foot, the top foot forward, the bottom foot will go behind you and then come up into this side plank, like so, hand on your hip. You can bend your knee so you squat down toward your feet and come back up and do that for two and come up and three and come up, hold that plank, four and up one more time, bend and release. All right, let's do it on the other side. So come over onto the other hip. Your top foot goes forward, your bottom foot goes back, your hand is on the floor, and you rise up into your side plank here, and we're just gonna do our squat. Down, and come back one. Two, this is the grand finale, guys. Three, and two more. Four, and one more. Five, and put your hip down. All right, let's cool down. So from here, cross your legs and sit tall. Breathe in, we're gonna do a spine stretch for it. So breathe in, now exhale, just flex forward, and then come back up. Inhale through the nose, get your breathing under control. Exhale over, and come back up. One more like that. Exhale over, and come back up. Now, just reach across for the opposite knee, turn and look behind you. And let's do that same thing to the other side. Turn and look behind you. And one more time to each side, breathe in. And other side, breathe in as you turn. And let's finish with our side bend stretch, reach up and over. And come back, just slow that breathing down, deeper, slower breaths. One more time on each side, reach up and over. And finish on the other side, inhale over and exhale back. And guys, that does it for our no equipment needed Pilates mat workout. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you'll check out all of the other mat workouts on our site. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you again next time. Bye everybody.